Hey there guys, today I am working on the Suburban again. I'm gonna be going out for the first road test on this. Uh, but there's a couple of things I gotta But there's a couple of things I gotta take care of before I take it out on the road test. Uh, I need plug wires. I've got some right there. Plug wires and I need wiper blades. So I'm gonna start with the nastiest job first, replacing the plug wires. They are in really bad shape because, well, they're just kind of falling apart. I wish I had taken care of that whenever I first started to uh, replace the engine, but you know, what you gonna do? All right, so I've got the truck licensed and insured. Now I have to install the tag. And there is one more thing I need to take care of before taking it out on a long trip. And that is the shifter. When the tow truck operator delivered the Suburban, he popped the linkage off the, uh, off the transmission, the, the end, shifter end. He popped it off, which if it, if it was in good shape, it would have probably been fine, but this thing's been, you know, it's a 98, it's getting pretty old. The bushing failed, so now I have to replace it. So I'm gonna go underneath this truck and pull the shifter off, and I'm gonna show y'all how to replace the bushing in the shifter end and pop it back on and go for a ride. Uh, my first thought is, this thing's pretty dirty. Why don't I take it to the car wash and clean it up real good so it's not so nasty looking so that's what i'm gonna do first thing fix that shifter here we go so, let's see here's the shifter so here's the shifter right here and you can see it's just kind of stuck in there so you're supposed to be able to take this end off uh looks like there's a clip here I think I might need some pliers or something to get that clip undone let me see if I can two-hand it I'm gonna have to get some needle nose or something in the head Come on out. Okay, there we go. There we go. Just gotta press really hard. There it is. Oh, it's the adjuster. It's got like a spring. Can I take it all the way out? Let's see if I can take it all the way out. That's it. Okay, cool. And it's got springs in it. Don't drop the springs. <laughs> so I'm going to drop these springs out of it before I lose them. I'm stick them here out of the way. I'm going to kind of press them together so they don't roll away. And uh, this is what we got. There's a plastic bushing that goes inside here. And of course it's coming all two pieces. So I'm going to break all these pieces out of it. Let me see if I can catch some of them so y'all can see it. They're pretty brittle. And I'm not sure if I have the right bushing 
for it, but we're going to give it a shot. So see, it's, it's just breaking into all pieces. So, I'm going to dig it out. I'm pretty sure I don't have the right bushing. But I'm going to try it. There it is. Here's the part number I got, which is definitely not going to be the the correct one for this, but maybe I can modify it to work. I don't know. I think I'm waste, wasting my time with it. But I'm going to give it a shot. So this is definitely not going to be the kit for this application. Uh, no one can seem to help me on it. So I'm just going to try to modify this piece to fit in there. Y'all wish me luck. I'm going to need it. What I'm doing is I'm trimming off the ends so I can press it in the hole. Alrighty, let's remove these zip ties, throw this thing in park, and I'm going to reinstall this and I'm hoping when I press it, it'll just click into place didn't seem to hold that way. Let's try this way. Wait, which way do I need to go? Does it matter? That way seems to hold, guys. I'm going to press this in place. Come on. There it is. The shifter is locked into place. Put this boot back. And it's holding, guys. That's my fix. Now, you saw the part number. You can do what I do, what I did, if you can't find the correct bushing. Someone has the correct bushing, uh, but I didn't. I, I went to three different places and no one could tell me what that bushing was. And I even Googled it and I couldn't even find a part number. So there it is. All right, what's next? Four or fourteen. Been sitting up a while.
previous guy that had this truck left everything in it his cell phone bills coolers all that stuff so we're gonna go through it and see what's cool and see what's not so I have pretty much left the truck alone but let's see what all we have in here we have a shirt what is this Hendrick Motorsports number 88 Dale Jr. He was a Dale Jr. fan. And he, this shirt is a size 2XL. So he was definitely a larger man. Bad girls, baby. All right. Let's see. All right. So maybe he likes skin tight shirts because this shirt right here is a 5XL. Whoa. Oh, yeah. He was a big guy. And, uh, taking it to the car wash I can just drop this stuff off in the car wash and not worry about getting the stuff in my garbage because my can's full yeah yeah or you can save it and give it away at Busco Beach part of your door price thing I don't want to do that to my fans <laughs> so let, I'm gonna just go on to the uh, car wash you don't see four Easter shit in basket all right You gonna crank up? Hurry took home a, in the United States. Took long enough, didn't it? So we're on the road. This thing is running really, really good. Tires are flat spotted. They are they are real flat spotted. Tiniest bit of gear wine. Yeah, it's not the tires. That's that's the rear end's got a little bit of wine. It shouldn't have much of a wine to it. It's only got 140,000 miles. I don't hear any engine noises. Transmission is shifting firm, and you know no lag or anything. It, shifts like when it's supposed to now the speedometer is reading 80 miles per hour though and the the, the tachometer is reading about 3,000 rpm that is not correct so i've got some sort of issue with the speedometer cluster brakes feel good Apart from me having to replace the engine, I really like this thing. Got to clean it out. Well, first things first is uh, taking this thing and washing it. I'm actually looking forward to that. The, the floors are pretty clean. The seats are pretty clean. There is a dash cover. There's a reason, because there's there's like a hole in there. So the dashboard on this thing is shot. The headliner is actually surprisingly good. I'm afraid to touch it because you know what happens on these old, how old is this thing, 98? So it's going to be like 25, 26 years old. Something, 20 something years old. That headliner is going to be in bad shape. So, I'm going to go through some of the things in the back here. Uh, let me start Let me start in the glove box. Okay. We have some new car smell, guaranteed 100%. I don't know what that is. Let's see what these... These... Baby powder. Air freshener. What is this one? Uh, another baby powder. This is ah, <laughs> blunt effects. Blunt effects. Okay, so I guess this might be uh, used to 
hide the smell of <coughs> it's got baby powder smell to it all right this is this is pretty pretty empty baby powder this this one's pretty empty yep these two are empty they're baby powders scented what is this one blunt flower blunt flower let's see what it smells like <coughs> it's, a it's a little strong but not let's pop the rear hatch We've got some jumper cables. We have some 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 towels and stuff. These towels can get thrown out. Yep. And some gloves I'm gonna throw out. And some shoes. Throwing out these shoes. Don't need these shoes. up and running I tell you what I'm gonna tell you just like a friend of mine told me a clean car is a happy car wise wise words that's from my that's from my buddy bunny who's no longer with us all right we are in dry we are in motion there's something wrong with this seat there's something broken in the seat. That's why it leans back so far. <laughs> okay. 
Let's go. This thing rides so good. So, I, I, okay, I'm, I'm glad I bought this truck. I just hate that, I just hate that it, it's, I bought it right when gas prices just sky high. It's, uh, it's not cool. But I plan on hanging on to it. This, I do need a heavy duty vehicle to pull my trailer so I can haul things. Now, y'all are going to say this ain't heavy duty. Well, guess what? I ain't got to have no weighted tags. So in the state of North Carolina, since since uh, since this is considered a station wagon, no need for weighted tags. Whoa, this thing's got some positive traction in it. Okay, no burnouts with the Suburban. It wants to. It wants to bad. But. No burnouts. It was dragging the front tires. Plus traction. Moves out. That's the first time I've really gotten on it. This thing moves out. Alright guys, so if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'm, I'm not sure if there's going to be another video on this unless it's in a video that I'm shooting. So, uh, I'm close to 100,000 subscribers guys. Make sure you hit that, that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Thanks for watching guys. I will catch y'all later. Alright. If y'all join me on my live stream, y'all got to see me break this thing down live. What I found was I, um, I believe it's, uh, let me see. It's number five. I think it's, uh, I'm trying to figure out which, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, number five cylinder, number five rod bearing spun. Crankshaft is damaged. There's the bearings right there. They actually spun on top of each other. It was crazy. All the other bearings seem to be fine. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why number five spun a bearing, but uh, uh, this engine needs a uh, crank it. And I do, I do believe it's worth saving, so I will be putting a crank kit in this engine and saving it for another project. Might even throw a cam in it, too. You never know. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch y'all later.